something like that? Uh, yes, sir. I, uh, uh, every day I plan like to do my best for the game. And I know I was gonna have a load on me today. I feel like I handled it well. The uh, the, the the second touchdown you had, did you did did it feel like you got into the end zone on that long run? No, I think I was a little short. I was just trusting my read, you know, do what I do best in the open field. I felt I feel like I was like a couple inches short. It's Ann or Tavis, for either one of you guys, what kind of led to the slow start and kind of not being able to get the offensive grip or rhythm until the second half? And at that point, you know, how did you guys feel that you were able to get things going? So the second half, shooting ourselves in the front and not executing uh, dumb penalties and you know, holding false starts, whatever it was, and uh, you know, just not executing on certain runs and passes. And uh, that's kind of the model we went into house on with. It wasn't really anything that they were doing. It's, we can see in the second half if we were to start it like that. Outcome. You guys have now had a couple close losses this year, obviously in, par- in the part of rebuilding, but how, <laughs> how tough is it to deal with these real close ones? Uh, it's, it's real tough, man. You know, it's different. Um, I feel like it's part of us growing as a team, learning how to you know win those close games, and it's going to involve some growing pains like this, but you know, I feel like it'll play off well in the end. And, you know, we just got to keep fighting, stay together as a team, and put together a full game instead of one half. You guys are both veterans and have been through a lot. How do you guys keep some of the younger players motivated and involved? Uh, I just feel like we just got to give them our energy, like keep the energy going on the side. Like even though if we down by a couple of touchdowns, just like have their mindset, like like believe believe like we can come back and do great things like we like we did uh, today. I just feel like we get, just keep the young guys like with our energy and have them believe. I feel like we'll have a great season. And you know, we gotta just keep them working hard and you know just uh, keep instilling that and then make that the culture that you know one one bad game you're gonna sit here and you know make us just tank on the rest of the season. We gotta keep fighting and even with a lot of returners, we still do have a lot of young guys. So. You know, just trying to build that coaching towards young guys is very important. Steve? Go ahead, Joseph. Isaiah, you guys had a lot of uh, successful uh, passing plays in that second half uh, to get back in that game. Where do you feel like the passing game has, has gone from you know, the beginning of the season to where you guys are now? Uh, it's just taking improvements week by week, and it's going to have to take that because week by week we're going to start playing better DVs and having people start the game playing for more. And, you know, today we face a really good corner, Paulson and Debo, and you know, next week is going to be the talented corners of UCLA. After that, Utah. So we're just going to have to, you know, just uh, keep sitting here and fighting and uh, keep executing our pathways and really prepare. And, you know, if you don't prepare for the game, then, you know, you're going to come out and not execute. So, yeah, I feel like we have to prepare a little bit better. For both you guys, uh, you guys are down 21 and nothing. Was anything said coming into that next drive because things kind of changed? Or what kind of changed for you guys that allowed you to get back in the game? Uh, it was just coming out of how we just keep fighting. Like we, we did before in Colorado. I, uh, our coaches just, just kept saying keep fighting and believe. And once we, we got in the end zone once, like everybody started feeling good, feeling more confident. I just felt like we started executing after that. Uh, for the first half it was, it was a frustrating half for us just knowing that you know that you're better than another team and that you know you you have a lot of talent and we can sit here and really be executing and we weren't so you know we kind of went to half knowing that that you know that we have the time to move the ball on these guys and we have the playmakers and we have the skill and you know we weren't doing that so we just came out that second half and they just execute do us don't worry about them and you know let's not get too hyper and let's just sit here and relax and play our game what is it going to take, aside from Cal Poly, you guys haven't put together a full game yet offensively, what is it going to take for you guys to put four quarters together? Uh, just starting fast, starting fast, and then come back after half and finishing. If we do both of those things, I feel like we'll have a couple wins under our belt. It's going to take a lot of uh, a lot of detail of practice, too, and there are some, some times where we kind of start slow in practice uh, this week, and you, know, you can kind of see that carry over to the game. I thought it was very important to preach to the young guys, the old guys, and everyone really that like practice days are important and we need to really sit here and grind through the whole thing, start fast, finish strong, and you know, we, we do that week to week and we'll start showing up in the games. Thanks guys. Try just what just see the way what what would it boil down to? What did you think they were gonna do right there when they got involved in? Do you think it was they were gonna 
try to get them passes right away, or how did you feel like they're going to attack that? I feel like they're just, you know, you just got to play both ways. You know, you never know what they're going to do until they actually do it. So I feel like we just play run first and, you know, react. So. How did, you, how did you guys feel, you know, overall you played defensively? Did you feel like you took a step forward this week? or? Oh, yeah, I believe we definitely took a step forward, you know. Uh, we we shut, them, shut them out to, you know, a couple. Our emphasis was run stopping, and I feel like we did a good job on that, but, you know, we're never satisfied, and we got to keep working no matter what. Uh, for either one of you guys, you know, today was one of the better run defense defensive games you guys have put together in some time in terms of, like, the total yards. What kind of clicked for you out there, and is that something you guys feel like you can take a step forward even moving forward ahead? Yeah, man, we can always get better at the run, you know what I mean? Like, that was a heavy emphasis this week and today and this week's practice. Like, you know, Stanford, run, 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 run. So, you know, we have to prepare for that, but we, we shut them down in the second half, but we have to get better going first. Um, kind of a theme that we've seen this this the first four games is getting them third or third and long and then giving up a big play. What has to happen to, to make those stops? Details. Details. We just have to execute and do our job. So obviously there's just a little bit of that lightning delay, weather delay. Does that impact how you guys approach the game or does it impact you in what ways does it? Honestly, I don't feel like it, it's really a big impact, you know. We, you, you're, you're supposed to be ready to play at any time, at any moment. So, yeah, I know it, it, it took us back, what, 10 minutes or something like that. But either way, we're, we're still getting ready in the locker room, you know, getting hyped up, getting ready for the game, paying attention to details and just hyping each other up. So I feel like it's not a big deal of the way to change, even though it happened. And yeah, like a close loss, but a loss nonetheless. How do you feel about this personally and, uh, you know, how frustrating is it for you to get close but not get that W? Oh, it's, it hurts no matter what. You know, a loss is going to hurt no matter what. You know, we is there. We just got to be better at the little details, you know, flags and stuff like that. You just can't have them, you know. We got one of four and six, and, you know, they caught it on me uh, on the kickoff, you know. I mean, not kickoff. So, yeah, but, you know, they caught it on me, and just the little details of you know, we can't get hold, you know. Yeah. It's frustrating. Obviously, it's made a nice comeback in offense. You guys held them there to get the offense opportunity. How disappointing or, or frustrating is it to not pull one out today? Uh, it's frustrating, you know, but no matter what, we're still going to come tomorrow. We got practice. We're going to still go at it. We're going to attack it. We're going to attack that practice. We're going to attack the weight room tomorrow. You know, it's frustrating. We're going we gonna to let it soak in, and we just going to. We're going to let it marinate, and we're going to keep working. No matter what, you know, we gonna, it hurts, you know, but we're going to rock around angry next week, and we're going we're gonna to see what's up next week. Hey, I'm just going to take me through kind of the range of emotions. You know, you guys score, tie up the game, and then Stanford kind of sucks the life right back out of it with a big return. Was that kind of a, a point where you guys maybe tightened up a little bit defensively and were kind of on your heels a bit, or did you guys feel confident even with them starting right there around midfield? I believe he was confident no matter what, you know. You know, special teams always goes your way, but either way, we got to be the defense. We got to be the ones that stop. We got to be the ones that be the force on the field. So, you know, we felt, you know, it's a little pressure no matter what. That's that's just football, you know, it's anxiety and stuff like that going on and you know, a lot of emotions. So I feel like, you know, we had to be the one to step up, you know, we, it was close, but it, it's not good enough. So we got to keep working. Thanks, guys.